Hey, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, it's that time again. We got to talk about what went down today. Look like Sheila confronts Bill about his intentions. Katie and Brooke discuss the change in Bill. And Steffi and Finn get a little hot romance going in the office. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your bold and the beautiful recap for March 27th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. Oh, after Friday's cliffhanger, we are back over at Bill's place where we see Sheila asking Bill, what are you up to? What's going on? And he was like, look, I've asked you to be my wife. She said, well, if things seem a little bit too good to be true, they usually are. And she asked if he was playing her. And I guess Sheila is not too willing to let the stallion put that saddle on her back and ride her toes off into the sunset anymore. Oh, yeah, that's Deacon's job. Anyway, maybe, you know... Take her out to the beach where they first fell in love. But we all know this is a setup. She pulled out her ring and asked what this is. Uh, Sheila, it's a ring. It's not your first one. And then again, she asked what's really going on. And I guess it's hard for her to believe that someone other than Deacon would be interested in being with her. Then Bill tells her, I thought we trusted each other. He asked her, what's the problem? Was he moving too fast? He told her she's the only one he wants. And she said, well, I don't like it when people betray me. And Ridge is telling him, look, just play it cool. Sheila asked Bill, was she right? Are you up to no good? Bill said, look, I never saw this coming. Hasn't he proven himself for her? He even gave up access to his kids, didn't ask for a prenup. He told her he committed crimes like she has. Does that mean that, you know, he doesn't deserve to be loved either? He told her he wants to give her the future that she so richly deserves. And then what did she do? She said, yes, she would love to be his wife. So now we're over at Forrester where we see Brooke said it's quite shocking having Thomas design for Hope for the Future again. Well, Brooke, you can't sketch designs. Hope can't sketch designs. And look like Grandpa Eric and Zenday wasn't cutting it either. So yes, it's Thomas to the rescue. I mean, seriously, Brooke, what do you do there? Anyway, Brooke told Katie she was trying to be supportive for Hope's sake. No, it's not for Hope's sake. It's for her line's sake. Anyway, Katie is asking Brooke how Bill can just throw away his family for that psycho. Well, he's done it before. I mean, seriously. So it's nothing like a little hot loving in the afternoon because across the hall, they show Steffi and Finn getting busy once again. I mean, hey, can we have them doing something else? But hey, it's cool. I guess making out all the time is good for a young couple. We all know that they're in love. Now, Steffi is asking Finn where has her dad been, and he normally checks in about the business. He's out in the world, Steffi, undercover, growing a mustache and a ponytail. However, he said, you know what, he should be there to help them. And finally, we're back over at Bill's place where he leads Sheila to the sofa, and he put that ring back on her finger. He told her that he couldn't let her get away. He told her to do this. They need a foundation of complete openness, honesty honesty and trust and he told her he had been forthcoming with her but there are things that she hasn't shared with him and I need to hear it all according to Bill now she said that he already knows that she shot Finn and Steffi he said she told him about doing some other imaginable things she told him that there was a doctor Jay Garvin he fell over the balcony and he died and she said that she never meant to kill him he fell on mistake and of course Ridge was screaming like oh my god what the hell we couldn't get on self-defense bill was like you know what i know there gotta be more it's okay you can tell me then she brings up lance day threatening her too and yeah i know we all remember that storyline she said that he was deathly allergic to bees she sent bees into his bedroom while he was sleeping and he was stung over and over again and she made sure he couldn't even get out the room and she was in the window and he 
pleaded with her for help. He was gasping for air. She said she just stood there and watched him to die. And Bill was like, so you intentionally killed him? She verified and confirmed yes. And then Bill wanted to really put the nail in the coffin by saying, you know what? Repeat that. You actually did this to Lance Day. She, he was even calling it hot. And she said, yes, I did. And Bill was like, oh my God. He knew he had her at that time as he had that really, really sly grin on his face. Okay, so there you have it, your bold and the beautiful recap for Monday, March 27, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Young and the Restless recap for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.